This is another one of our mnemonic memory aid illustrations. This one is for those drugs that induce nystagmus. The mnemonic here is Salem, S-A-L-E-M, TIP, T-I-P, Salem TIP. And what we've drawn in this illustration is a gentleman enjoying some Salem cigarettes, offering up a tip at the gentleman's club. Very generous gentleman here, exhibiting signs of nystagmus. He's wearing his Salem cigarette cap, and he's also enjoying some alcohol beverages. Salem tip. His shirt says PCP, and he's drinking alcohol. S for sedative hypnotics or solvents. And that would include benzodiazepines, chloral hydrate. Solvents can cause positional nystagmus, which correlates with the degree of solvent exposure. And this has been observed in the labs using rabbits exposed to certain types of solvent solutions. A is for alcohol, such as ethanol, methanol, isopropyl alcohol, even ethylene glycol, which we mentioned down here under E. L is for lithium, M for methanol. T for tegretol or a thymine deficiency. And we see that with Wernicke syndrome, the ophthalmoplasia, confusion, and ataxia. So remember, thymine deficiency can cause nystagmus and ophthalmoplasia. I for isopropanol, P for PCP or phenytoin. So sedative hypnotics and all medications in that class can potentially cause nystagmus. Exposure to inhalation of solvents is going to cause a dose-dependent degree of nystagmus. A for alcohol, and that includes all alcohols, including ethylene glycol, isopropanol. L for lithium. T for tegretol thymine deficiency as well, specifically Wernicke's encephalopathy, isopropanol, which again is another type of alcohol, PCP, which is fencyclidine or angel dust, and P for phenytoin. Salem tips.